Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Anyway, social media is currently going crazy all over Instagram and Twitter because Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill are beefing. They have literally taken over the entire trending topic. Everything is Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, Melanio, Safari, Meek, Meek and Nicki. This entire situation is nuts. I was trying to see how everything played out, and it looks like it's starting to wind down, okay? So what went down is this. Basically, earlier today, Nicki received word, I'm sure from her barbs, that Meek was being messy and that basically Meek was liking negative pictures of her husband Kenneth Zupetti. Okay. So there's a picture that Nikki recently posted the other day of her and Kenneth Zupetti. And so somebody photoshopped her out of the picture and they put him alongside some mannequins because people have been saying that he poses like a mannequin. He just doesn't seem to have any type of feeling. He's just there. So they put him in a mannequin store window and basically Meek Mill seen it and then he ended up liking it. And he ended up liking it. And so somebody sent that to Nicki Minaj. So at that point, Nicki Minaj went off. OK, so this is what she wrote. She says, you a clown. You do it for like hashtag Twitter fingers beat women scared of men. And then she proceeded to post all these pictures of Meek Mill on her Instagram stories. So you see a picture of her walking with Meek and she has a clown emoji on his face. And, and then she has some pictures of him in outfits that aren't flattering. Like one where he's walking around with a man bag and they're saying like Mickey Minaj, Mickey Lewinsky, Mickey the Ninja, Mickey the Boss, Mickey the Harajuku Barbie. Then the other one says Meek Mill wears a public school striped shirt for the Mayweather fight. Um... And then another one, he has on these pants that are way too damn high for him. It looks like he needs to pull his damn shoes up, okay? And so she put a clown emoji on that as well, basically showing that his fashion sense is no worse or no better than her husband's fashion sense, okay? So when she put that out there that Meek Mill likes to beat women, but he's scared of men, everybody was like, hold up, Meek is out here beating on women. What, Meek put his hands on you? What the hell's going on? So at that point, people started attacking me. So then what ended up happening is that basically Nicki Minaj took to her Twitter account and she started going off. So then she posted that picture of Meek Mill with them high water jeans on. And she says, trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Bad built faced ass obsessed with the queen. So people just started clowning Meek and were laughing and everything else. She was also retweeting a lot of her barbs. So one of her barbs says, Meek Mill got a whole child on the way, but he's over here liking pics about another man. This nigga reeks of pussy. Oh my God, at Nicki Minaj, period, sis. And Nicki Minaj tweeted that. And then somebody else says, he wasn't on shit in the store, though. Like Ken said, pussy ass nigga at Nicki Minaj. Then she says, nigga been tweeting about my man for a year now. Talking about he went to the page to see him, but he was blocked. My nigga, move on. I know your bitch embarrassed shit at yourself in the store when you got pressed, though. Clown. And then another one of her barbs says, he's been a clown. Kenny wanted all the smoke, and obviously Kenny's too much of a real nigga for weak meals. This nigga dead ass Twitter fingers and only wants smoke online. Laugh my fucking ass off. True clown. So then Meek Mill finally decided to respond to everything Nikki and her barbs were saying. And this is what Meek Mill said. So Meek Mill says, the only way you can try and kill my career is to say I beat women. Talk about your brother convicted of rape. You been known and paid for his lawyer. Your little brother touched that little girl too. You know I know. You want me to crash with your boyfriend and I won't. Then he says, you sad. You willing to crash your man because you losing now. And everybody in the industry knows you a bad person. And you been known that your brother was raping that little girl. That's why I got away from you. So after Meek Mill talked about her brother's rape case, this is what Nicki Minaj said. You beat your own sister and taped it. Spit on her and taped it. Kicked me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking Drake's dick made you feel tough again. Move on. And then she also goes on to say, imagine talking about an alleged rape of a child to hurt somebody who wasn't involved just so people can dislike me. You can never stand on your own. You won't tell people that the mother is on tape asking me for $20 million to make the charges go away, though. You was around. You know. See you soon. And then she kept reposting some of her barbs. And so another one says, that's his response. Boy, sit down. You a whole clown at Meek Mill. That's all you have. Please keep the same energy in person. Where is this energy in the store? Why didn't you go outside like a man? You a whole internet gossip girl. 
And then somebody else, and then she retweeted somebody else who said, Meek is trying to deflect from the abuse by talking about her brother. Abuse 101, make the victim look bad, deny and deflect. And then at that point, Meek Mill responds back again. So he says, surrounded by rapists talking what? Stop playing. You picked a great time to be saying I ever put my hands on you. You full of hate and the whole industry know you full of hate and your bag getting low. So you want to destroy me. I can't believe y'all industry people let these people survive this long in the game, knowing they really nasty people and have a nasty upbringing. Everybody really know what's going on. I'm powerful and I ain't never scared to speak up. Then he says, go to church, leave me alone. My girl is with me pregnant, watching me tweet about my ex is very clownish. I'm an exit. Then he comes on to say one last thing on social media. And he says, for clarification, I don't hit women. I won't let my interviews be filled with questions about her or any situation to do with her. When I come out to do press for my new album, no devil's tricks. So that's what Meek Mill had to say. So this entire situation was super messy. We are only five days into Black History Month, honey, and it's a whole bunch of drama and damn fuckery. Now, on top of that, you know, it's also Trayvon Martin's birthday. So, of course, people are just like, what in the world is going on here? A lot of folks on social media and a lot of folks on Twitter had things to say. I want you guys to go ahead and check out some of these tweets and comments. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. Time out, time out, flag on the plate, traveling, offsides, clipping, hold up, wait a minute. What's up with this here? You figured me out, you got me red-handed, you got me red-handed, whatever, whatever, then I'm wrong, you got me now, you got me now, you got me now, oh, you figured me out. This life I can't kill myself, I can't kill myself, I can't kill myself, I love me too bad. All right, so you guys just saw all the comments and what folks are saying on social media. So this entire situation is a hot mess, but I definitely feel like, you know, they're both being very, very petty and immature at this point. Meek should not be going around liking pictures of her, you know, husband and things like that and trying to low-key clown him. If you don't like him, then just, you know, don't like him. But anytime you do something on social media, be it a like or a retweet, Everybody sees it and they get the hint. And I think for Nikki, you know, she got tired of it and she decided to snap. The one thing I will say I did not like about her response, basically she's trying to deflect from her brother's situation. She's saying that the mother tried to export her for $20 million. She has it on tape. That was something that the mother um, was accused of doing. 
But I never heard of them having a tape of her. Why not release the tape? I mean, hell, the brother already got time. Why not blast the mother and show how she was trying to, you know what I'm saying, take advantage of her daughter's situation? At the end of the day, it's not alleged. So her trying to say her brother's an alleged rapist, um, he was found guilty. They sentenced him to 25 years, and his DNA was found in that little girl's underwear. So I'm sorry. There's no alleged with that. There's no reason for a grown man to have any part of his body on a young girl. You know, so I don't like that part that she's trying to deflect and, and put it on the mother. No, your brother was all the way wrong for what he did. Again, they know where the bones are buried. They both have a lot of dirt on each other. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. I wonder if Drake's going to say anything, being that his name got drug up in there. At this point, everything's getting re damn dickless between Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill. Now, it was just a few weeks ago that they ran into each other in L.A. And they damn near came to fisticuffs, allegedly. Y'all remember that damn TMZ video of Nicki Minaj screaming and Kenneth Zupetti going off on Meek Mill and Meek Mill going off on him? I feel like this entire situation concerning all three of these people is nothing more than a powder keg getting ready to blow, okay? Since all this happened about four hours ago, Meek Mill has basically deleted all the tweets. So, of course, the barbs are having a field day and calling him Weak Mill for deleting all his tweets. Um, he also dropped a new song with Justin Timberlake. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what will come of the world. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift your heads, because your redemption is coming. And as we all know, Nicki Minaj dropped her new single yesterday called Jikes. And they're both working on new albums. So at this point, I'm looking at this like, is this publicity for both of them? Did she, you know, start this mess with him on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? So that way she could drag him and they could start trending and everything else. I mean, granted, Meek did like the picture first. But Nicki Minaj is the one who blew up behind this, okay? And let's not forget when her Queen album was set to release, she got into it with Safari Online. And at that point, you know, she put Safari's business out there, talked about him, you know, getting a hairline sewn on his forehead. Then Safari came out and said that Nicki Minaj stabbed him. And then people matched up everything Safari was saying to that song, Better Lies. So the whole situation is crazy. I definitely feel like there's a lot of stuff in the mix. It's going to be very interesting to see if they just let this shit die down on Twitter or if it escalates from here, okay? Because at this point, with both of them coming out with new music and new albums, I'm giving the entire situation a side eye. Like I said yesterday in the Meg Thee Stallion and G-Eazy video, a lot of these celebrities will do anything to trend, anything to have a viral moment, especially when it comes time to them pushing their music and trying to get album sales. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And most important, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on all this drama concerning Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj getting into it on social media today behind Kenneth Zupetti, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about it. Do you guys feel like they're just doing this for attention? Nicki started all this because she has new music coming out. Or do you feel like it's way deeper than that? So I want to know your opinions. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.